So we're in Portland, Oregon. Yay! We um, we were stopping by just to see this great city, mm -hmm. and we thought we'd meet up some, with some friends. So we've got a surprise for you guys, fellow YouTubers, Dynamo Ultima that has been making YouTube videos for quite a while. When I found them, I was honestly so psyched. I was like, oh my gosh, there's people like us yeah. making videos on YouTube. So we're gonna introduce you guys to them and show Enjoy you their van. their van, and then hang out with them a little but bit. They're awkwardly waiting in their van. So let us go, let's go. <laughs> Lexi, and we're Dynamo Ultima. Zero. Hi, Zero. Most important part. He owns the van. He, he allows <laughs> you guys to stay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, does the van have a name? Uh, yes. It's the Millennial Falcon because Ooh. we are Star Wars nerds. Uh, I guess we'll show you our van. Yeah. Take, like, Let's see it. Seconds. Let's do it. We have a 2016 Mercedes uh, Sprinter van. <laughs> it's <laughs> the short one, the 144 inch. Yeah, we have a kitchen area. And nice. we have a granite countertops, and nice. it's really nice. It's yeah, pretty cool. That's crazy. Um, we have this cool like bamboo faucet thing. Is that bamboo? It's it bamboo. Looks, yeah. It looks it's like not copper. Bamboo, it's copper. <laughs> but it, oh, it's a copper <laughs> bamboo. I see. <laughs> and uh, we have storage under here, and it's very messy. This is like tools, and that's our battery. We have an AGM Lifeline. Yeah, Cody knows more than I do. We decided to go with the C-Tech for our ba uh, battery management. Okay. So your battery doesn't explode or okay. overcharge or anything. Right. And then we have a, gosh, how big is it? It's been a while since I've talked about this thing. Yeah. 255 amp hour oh, um, nice. AGM battery, so yeah. it never dies. So it's really right, nice. right, right. And then Cody, we grab you? all the fuses are here so you don't blow all your electronics. Right. And then we have a master battery shutoff switch. Nice. That leads to our inverter. Okay. Here, so we can use AC power. Okay. There's a receptacle you can wire, and we wired it behind the wall over here. And then you can see that. All right there. Yeah, That's so tight. Can... And then down here we have like our sink pump thing, and like we fill it. Um, we fill it in here with water, and then underneath we have a 15 gallon tank. So it's like under oh wow! Yeah. Oh, crazy! Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So, and this is yeah. a real granite countertop. It's called Black Galaxy. Wow! So it kind of like fits our whole uh, Star Wars. Right. Thing. What do you say to all the haters who talk about the weight of the? Van? It wasn't that heavy. Is it? Uh, we could lift it with two people, so it's like, wow. It was like maybe a hundred pounds. Yeah. Okay. So tell tell the haters off, dude. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> we just store all our food and like we have yeah. a rice cooker thing here. All of our like cooking utensils. We don't have any food in here right now because we haven't gone shopping. So. <laughs> <laughs> we have these hinge things. We nice. just installed these recently because when we first were in the van, these didn't stay open. So when we had to get anything out, we had to rest it on our head. But that's horrible. Yeah, yeah it was awful. Yeah, it's, it's an absolute <laughs> so this game changer. It was only like 15 <laughs> bucks for like four. Wow, of them, that's so. awesome. It's key. Before we had this contraption, we would stuff our curtains on our headliner and that yeah. was <laughs> So we made this out of some plumbing piping from Home yeah. Depot and it wasn't very expensive at all. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we basically just have it hooked in over here and then we have a little elbow piece. Okay, you went. Oh, you good, dude. Yeah. And then we just connected the, the two poles That's together. super cool. We have a little drawer here where we store uh, <laughs> random stuff. We have a Nova Cool refrigerator. And it was probably the most expensive thing we bought for our van, which is weird. How much was it? Uh, it was like nine hundred dollars, and you had to pay one hundred fifty dollars to ship it. Okay. So, oh wow! It's yeah. So what do you though, what do you like about this one? Because I've never seen anybody else use. I like that one, like, it's stand up, and I don't have to like pretend I'm yeah. digging around in a cooler like I'm going mm -hmm. camping. It feels more like housey to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it fits like so much food and a lot of beer. Yeah. So the van came with the window then. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's a crew. Um, mm -hmm. so it has one on, has one on the side too. Would okay. you demonstrate the rollout for me? That looks like it's <laughs> glorious to watch. It always falls out when we're driving though. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it kind of shrunk. Oh, it's like a fruit roll up. Yeah, oh, a couple of inches of... From yeah, no. the sun. It shrunk. <laughs> Did it really? Oh. Yeah, it's weird. It used to fit, but it shrunk from the Wow. Sun. Weird. But that's your little peephole. No one's going to rob you. You've got your extra inch, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is our back setup area. Mm -hmm. And... 
We have two benches on the side and it, this pushes down mm -hmm. to make a bed. And one thing we wanted to talk about that we've ran into with like a lot of other van lifers is everyone wishes they had a table with benches. Like everyone yeah. met wants <laughs> to be able to like sit down and not be sleeping all the time. Mm -hmm. So I guess if you're thinking about doing a van, maybe think about this setup here. This like diagonal setup here was yeah. a uh, happy accident <laughs> because we used to have a big closet here and we okay. took it out, extended our bed, but we couldn't move this because it's granite. Right. So it's hard to uh, right to cut. <laughs> so this diagonal thing is so we can still open the fridge. Oh, that's awesome. Mm, I see. And Cody sleeps here because he's way taller. And then I kind of like sleep diagonal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's our bed. Wow, that's awesome. And we usually put blankets and sheets on it. So under our benches, we store like. What do we store? Climbing gear, shoes, shoes tarp, utility. camera equipment, much like lighting and stuff. Mm -hmm. We have. Yeah. <laughs> we have this cool bookshelf here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty neat. This is where all my clothes are. Nice. <laughs> it's uh, every time I take something out, everything falls out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm living that life as Cody's well. Is here. And then back here we have uh, more stuff. That's all our like supplies. office supplies, yeah. business stuff, and that's my stuff too. Like yeah, yeah she gets, jewelry, she gets makeup, two and makeup. <laughs> <laughs> this is the back of our van. We made it easy to access our back benches without lifting them by okay. making little doors. Oh, oh, that's key. That's very so cool. We don't have to like open. The door. That is super right. nice. So like things you need to grab a lot, like shoes. Or like right. right at the front. That's very yeah, cool. Yeah. That's tight. So we have a road shower, which is amazing, but it kind of sucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys use it? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you can't use it in the winter, but in the summer it's amazing. You can take shower. You can like camp places and take showers. Mm -hmm. and, like, the water is really hot. Yeah. But that's the downfall. Is like if it's super hot outside. You're like showering in hot water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the water is matching the temperature but of the outdoor. It's still nice yeah. to take like, a hot shower. Really hot. Yeah. yeah. Like cooking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we love it. That's awesome. And we have uh, 320 watts of solar on the roof on makeshift brackets that need to be replaced. Well, this is awesome. Well, yeah, that's about it, right? Well, can we ask you a couple of quick, just van life related questions? When did you buy the van? So we May. bought it right before we graduated. May 2016. Okay. Yeah, we like didn't renew the lease in our apartment and we bought our van. And then we were graduating college while we were like living in our van that wasn't built out and like Was it just a horrible stuff. couple of it months? It was bad, it was really yeah. stressful. And then it took us like five months to build it, but that's because we kept going on trips in it. Right. So we like would take breaks and go to like Colorado for like nice. two weeks. And then nice. like we went to Vegas right after graduation. Nice. And like, yeah. But it took us five months and then we moved in in October 2016. And we're gonna stay in it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were dog sitting last month. Yeah. And we were in, you know, beautiful home for right. three weeks. Right. But it just got very stagnant. You hated it. Boring. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Really boring. Not enough change. Like every time you think you're missing it, you go back and experience it for a few days and you're like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm right. good. Yeah. I got my fix. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like the grass isn't like, greener. Oh, hot on the showers. Other yeah, side. exactly. <laughs> the, gra the, the hot shower only yeah. lasts so long, right? Yeah. Crazy so, hard. <laughs> so, what was the process of like, making the decision to buy the van. Mm -hmm. Cody was in the army yeah. and we were like long distance for the first two years of our relationship. Mm -hmm. And when he got out of the army, I flew to Tennessee and then we drove in his Mazda Miata from Tennessee to Oregon. Nice. <laughs> and we just like loved traveling and That's driving awesome. places. And like, we always would go on road trips. Like we drove to Austin City Limits, which is a Texas or a festival in Texas oh, from yeah. Oregon. And it was like 36 hour drive. And that was before we got the van. So we just really liked going on road trips. And then, um, I don't know, right after we graduated college, we're like, you know, office life isn't for us. We're just right. gonna continue doing our business. And, and we've been true. together like <laughs> for a while. So it's like, we knew that we'd be fine like living in a van together. Right, right. <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, I don't know. We've never lived together before. Right, right. And you travel together enough too yeah. and everything. 
So these glorious locks were not grown while you were no, in the military? No, these are fresh. These are fresh? These are fresh and new. <laughs> he, was like, he was like bald when I found Oh my god. Yeah. Are you, do you love the locks? Oh, I love the locks. There's no going back. We both love the locks. What does Lexi think? I love them. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the van tour. These guys are awesome. They put out amazing videos and have been doing it for about a year now. And they really have been like an inspiration to us to see their videos. And I think to everyone else who makes van videos. So they do great work. We will link their channel below, of course. Please go check it out. And um, hope, yeah, I don't know. That's about <laughs> I have nothing else to say. That's it. You guys have anything? Cut that out. Are you doing it? Tacos. So we're going to go say tacos. All right, say goodbye, Zero. Let's get a cute sign off. Oh, ramen. We're getting Bye, booty.